In this video, we'll show you how to connect your cameras and a laptop to a computer running our favorite software mixing app called vMix. There are many ways to connect all of your peripherals. These are just a couple of the more popular methods and not an exhaustive informational manual. We'll start with the obvious, which is the heart of your system, a PC computer. We won't go into preferred specs in this particular video, so we'll just assume that you have a modern, robust brand and model that has been built for this purpose. You must have, at the very least, an internet connection called an Ethernet, or an RJ45 connection for us geeks. Next, if you want to connect your cameras via an SDI connection, you'll need an SDI input card, which is usually added after a PC purchase. Now, let's consider the rest of your system's parts, like a monitor, for our PC. We'll start with the internet connections to the modem, router, or switcher, which is, of course, already connected to the World Wide Web via an Ethernet cable. Next, we want to get that signal to and from the PC via another Ethernet cable. Now let's connect to one of our cameras. Since this is a video camcorder type, it may have an SDI output jack that connects to our system's SDI input card. This will be done using an SDI cable known as a 3G SDI or RG6 cable. Our second camera is going to be a PTZ camera, that's point tilt zoom. This type, which is externally operated, has an added advantage of also having an Ethernet jack that allows for camera signal processing and camera control, all from the convenience of one Ethernet cable connected to our PoE router or switcher. And finally, let's connect to the house's PowerPoint computer. You could take the second HDMI output of this laptop and send it to the main computer via a cable using an HDMI to SDI converter. But for today's demonstration, we'll just use yet another Ethernet cable or Wi-Fi, since we might want to connect this laptop to the Internet anyways. By using NDI, we can send its signal directly to the vMix computer, bypassing any need of any extra SDI cables. So now that we got everything connected from our diagram, let's go ahead and pretend that this is our output here, and it's going to be our talking speaker. Then we have our graphic here of the banner that goes on the top. And finally, we have our PowerPoint, which is going to be its own input, either on NDI or connected to a laptop via cable hardwired, uh, HDMI or SDI. So now we're going to build our own input using these three assets. So we're going to come down here to add input, hit the little arrow, go to blank. Then we just edit this blank and add all these three and resize them. Go to the gear icon. Then come up here and choose layers. And now we got all the layers we could possibly need. We'll start with layer number one, hit the uh, arrow, and let's make that the person on stage. That looks good. And we can change and edit these at any point. So I'm just gonna throw her in the corner. See, it's that easy. And let's go to back to layers, go to the second layer, and let's make that the PowerPoint. Go to edit the PowerPoint, make it smaller. Let's bring it over here where we want. That's looking pretty good. It's filling up the whole screen there. That looks pretty good. Go to layers again. Input number three, arrow. Make that the top logo. And there we go. Go to edit. Bring that logo up to the top here. Maybe enlarge it just a tad. And there we go. Now all I got to do is come back to the person on the top there. Go to edit here. And I can move her around. I can make her a little bit bigger there if I want. And it was literally that easy. I'll close this box. And now we got our choices. Here's the program out here. So if I hit enter, it cuts from the program. Here's the logo. Here's the PowerPoint. Here's the presenter. And watch this. And here's all three put together. Boom. And there it is. It was that easy. Well, this is Rich calling it quits for this quick tutorial. Saying over and out. Please see our notes on additional requirements for NDI usage in the description section here on YouTube. Thank you for watching.